Hello everyone, this is Jennifer from Sun Dragon Cards. Thank you so much for joining my channel and uh, keeping me company today. Welcome to a craft with me for this junk journal that I am in the process of making. And this is part two. Um, I decided not to cover this file for folder. However, um, I kind of also hate to leave it. I feel like it's plain. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and think about whether or not I should cover this like with fabric and lace and maybe leave like the inside like this. So there's some writing space. Uh, maybe add some embellishment here. Keep, uh, it's hard to know. It's hard to maybe cover the back. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure yet, but I definitely like this topper. This dress is beautiful. This digital is um, just beautiful. Um, it is from uh, Bubblefly Digi, and her name is Patronella. And uh, she does is you can find some of her digitals on her Etsy shop. And um, I want to keep the topper like this. Uh, it's just like a um, a scrappy do with a, a journal card in the back. So while I am thinking about this, I am going to continue to work on this for today. And this is the first signature. This is the second second signature. I like my uh, to use um, uh, authentic papers, uh, book pages, um, a ledger paper and coffee dye paper. I decided to change this out. Um, I had oh, a different piece of paper in there. It was like a vellum, coffee dyed vellum. And I just didn't like how it looked and I thought maybe uh, the signature could use a little more color that, uh, cause everything else, I mean, other than this page, the front page here, everything else was a little too um, neutral, I guess. And then I want, cause I wanted this pinkish peach color with gold splatters. Um, I just made this, painted this paper yesterday, and um, I really liked it and wanted to utilize it. So there you go. There's that signature. Um, I'm going in now, just uh, going through the signature and finding where I sh can put, make pockets, all that good stuff. And I think a pocket right along here would be perfect, a little lace pocket. So how's everyone doing? You guys doing okay? How has your Monday been? My Monday um, at work? Um, it was actually not too bad. Not too bad for Monday. It could definitely be worse. You know what my dream is is to someday retire soon so I can do this full time. Every junk journaler's dream, isn't it? Some of you are already there, have already made it, but um, unfortunately I have not. I still, you know, they have upped that social security retirement age. If you are born for after the um, 1964, they upped it to pay um, age 70. Can you believe it? Can you believe? I can't imagine doing what I do till I'm 70. I'm hoping that I can still remember how to do stuff by age 70. Anyway, um, I wanted to, first, I want to go ahead and just, I'm going to squirrel here and I want to thank um, a new subscriber. Um, let me see if I've got her. Um, yes. Tammy Kirwan. Hopefully I pronounced your last name right, but Tammy 
care one thank you so much for uh, subscribing and um, joining me in this channel my channel and um, hopefully you are watching today and um, crafting along with me um, it's just this community has just been so nice so fantastic you know i see a lot of comments from on other channels from different various people in this community and everyone is you can tell everyone is caring and kind and um they are so helpful and non-judgmental which is so important when you're trying to be a new creator and in this new craft you don't want to hear um somebody telling you that you're doing it wrong or or when in all actuality there is no wrong way to do any of this stuff it's just a matter of suggestions like you know perhaps maybe somebody can suggest if i can add something here or I, I i can do something differently but it's mainly suggestions and not really telling people how they do things and whether or not they're wrong or not um i don't know this pocket does it look wonky it looks a little wonky but then you know what i like wonky <laughs> I think that looks good. What do you guys think? I think that pocket and then let me see if I can find a like a journal card or something. Isn't this cute guys? The picture. Oh look at that. Wouldn't that be cute? This picture here um, I don't know if this is a digital or if it was one of my own from an estate sale. Gosh, I can't remember. I'm so sorry, ladies. Um, what I can do is I'll find out. I'll find out who has this digital kit, and if not, it's probably one of mine, and I'll have to look through my stuff. Um... I have not done any digitals or anything like that. I don't have a great computer system. All I have is my iPad, which is fantastic. It does everything that I need, to, need it to do, but I don't know if it's um, a, great, um, a great interface, I guess you can say, to have to, as an iPad to um, do like a special photo program, you know, do digitals and Photoshop and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think you, you need to have an actual PC, personal computer. But, you know, for those of you who are tech savvy, it'd be nice to know. It'd be nice to know if I can use, do something like that uh, as an iP in my iPad. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, um, you'll have to forgive me if I don't mention where I got a lot of these digitals. Um, so what happens when I start a project or if I have um, uh, leftovers from a project, I put it all together in one in one bag. And then I don't remember whose digital it is because it's a leftover from a different project. So I apologize if I don't remember. This could be with the birds like that. I want to say it is um, ruby and pearl, but I am probably totally wrong. Anyway, I want to put something here, but I don't know what. Yeah, I feel like there should be like a pocket or something. But, you know, I hate doing that pocket after pocket on every page. I like to sometimes, you know, I like to clip and make, show some interest. 
on a lot of things and um, so I'm looking for some paper that will look neat. Oh, but then that looks like a pocket. That would look like a pocket, wouldn't it? Maybe I can put it right there and then it could be a better pocket there. Or, oh, yes, like that. So we can make it an upside down pocket, which is great. I don't know if you saw the part one of this craft with me on this journal, um, but this kind of paper here, oh, did I do it in this? Oh my gosh, can't remember. Can't remember if I mentioned this kind of paper, but anyway, this kind of paper is uh, from Papaya and it does, um, they do their own stationary type of a thing and you can find them. I find them usually in boutiques. I haven't gone to their website or anything, or even if they do have a website, they probably do. Just about everything has a website. But um, I love their papers. They have all kinds of pretty decorated papers. And they're called papaya. They do um, cards, really neat, beautiful cards. And they do um, these papers. So all kinds of stationary things. They even have, I think they have like purses um, and, you know, little bags and all kind of this kind of a theme, type of a boho theme. And um, yeah, they're pretty fun. They've got a lot of fun stuff. All right, so there's that, and that could be a pocket this way. Yeah. And after I figure out all where I'm gonna put all these pockets, I'll also go in and um, see um, if any of the pockets need decorating or any of that kind of stuff. So I think there should be something like special in the middle here. Like when when I finally sew it in to the cover, like maybe there's like a little, like a piece of a lace of some sort in the middle to make it look a little special like this. Oh, that'd be cute, don't you think? Or is it, it might be too thick though. I think that might be too thick. Yeah, oh, but that would be so cute. And then have the signature come out, the string come out of that. I'm thinking, you know, I think I want to leave that there. I think, I think that would be a cute idea. And um, the thickness, we'll just have to make sure that the rest of the items are just thin and not too, not too um, substantial on the tags. Maybe make them into a thinner tags because I don't want this to be too thick. Um, to the point where, you know, you can't really um, do much in it or add to it. You want to make sure that whoever gets this journal is able to add things, take things out, do whatever. Do whatever you want. Anyway, um, so Leslie from 507 Willow House, the other day she was talking about her nails and her press-on nails. And um, I used to always get my nails done I used to go to the nail salon and you have to one my nail tech she we always had to make an appointment you can't do any walk-ins they were so busy that you had to call make your appointment wait in advance and two it would take forever 
for it to get done because I used I did gel nails and um, gel and my toe pedicure and manicure so you know it would take maybe a good three hours maybe less than that maybe two and a half and then um, it then it was got so expensive got so expensive so when Leslie was talking about the press on nails I thought oh gosh I am so glad that she mentioned that because I finally had to give up on the nail uh, going to a nail salon and I am doing press on nails and <laughs> there's so much I mean like eight dollars ladies eight dollars and go on Amazon I use the kiss brand and they're just press on and um, it takes maybe 10 minutes to put these on and there you don't have to wait for them to dry like you know regular nail polish and they will fall off every now and then I would say maybe within three days one would fall off but you just re-glue it just it comes with a bottle you can buy the nail glue they have a brush on nail glue and um like a it's like a oh super glue for nails and you can brush it on and then put your your nail your nail back on and it lasts for maybe two a good two to three weeks if i'm careful that's the key if i'm careful but you know we're junk journalists so it's hard to be careful we're always inking um, sanding uh, ripping doing so much with our nails it's it's hard to be careful but anyway thank you Leslie for mentioning that thank you for your transparency I love how she is just so honest about everything it makes me feel better it makes me feel better about myself and what the things that the decisions I make um, you know, you, you hope that nobody judges you, but in the same sense, you, for me and my, myself, I feel like I do my best not to judge anybody. And I would hope that nobody, that, you know, people think do the same for me. But unfortunately, I still worry about what they think, even though they say you shouldn't worry about what people think. But yeah, I do. I do worry about what people think. And, um, like, I wonder if I'm even, even doing things appropriately here. Oh, what's this? Oh, I don't want to cover up that side. I like that. Don't I have that somewhere, though? No, that's different. Oh, I like that. Whose is this? Whose digital is this? I get them mixed up. Is it Sam Pool? It has to be, or it's either Sam Pool or Ruby and Pearl. And again, I am sorry. So, so sorry. Um, here. So I copied these in a thinner paper. I get a lot of my items um, at estate sales. So I find like old typing paper that it's the erasable type of paper. Let me see if I can show you a pack. So I found this pack in an estate sale. And what I do is when I do find things in a estate sale, I grab a whole bunch of stuff and I just bundle it up and then I'll get books, I'll get fabric, I'll get all kinds of things, a big bundle, and then they'll look at it and they'll, and they, a lot of the um, uh, vendors or the people that do the estate sales, they all know me and they just say, oh, Jen, 10 bucks. How's 10 bucks? Oh my God. Yes, sold, of course. But anyway, this paper is just wonderful. And when you print on it, it's kind of, I mean, isn't that just beautiful? And how it feels, sounds, and 
I just love it. So it's the erasable typing paper. If you ever come across it, it's wonderful for, um, I mean, granted, it's not bright, the brightest hue. Um, if you use copy paper, uh, regular copy paper, you'll get a brighter, um, brighter print. Um, but I kind of like this muted, um, muted inking print because it's a little, makes it look a little more vintage. So, okay, sorry about that guys. I totally knocked over the camera. <laughs> never, never done that before, but <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I get for moving my hands around when I talk. I've got to uh, keep my hands under control when I'm talking because, you know, you end up knocking the camera, my phone over. I have it just, um, you know, hooked onto one of those those phone holder thingies, arms that you can put onto your desk. And, and um, anyway, um, yeah, sorry. So, anyhow. That kind of paper, this kind of paper is great. And if you don't mind it being um, you, muted, your ink, your images coming out a little muted, um, then it's perfect. And I, I love it. So um, there's also the kind of typing paper that is like onion skin. And that's great too for making, let me see if I can find Uh, is this the onion skin? No, this is the typing paper. But um, when I uh, print out envelopes from Digitals, this is from Amity Bloom. Whenever and I use this type, that type of paper, the typing paper or the onion skin, and it just so pretty. Look at it, so delicate. I just, I just love that. I just love those that type of paper. Okay, back to this. Let's see. I want to implement this on here somehow. And I think this will look good. There. But I want it ripped a certain way. I'm just kind of addicted to things ripped up now I can't it's hard for me to have uh, straight lines uh, so I like that torn look like um, a torn look up on top like this isn't so bad for me but uh, on the image or on the face of the page or even on the bottom or the side, the side of the um, page is like this side, the edge. Uh, I like to have torn. Kind of like how the Looks like the words are coming through on that. That's kind of kind of cool. Now there's something that needs to go on top of there. Hmm. That kind of defeats the purpose of the torn edge up on the top, huh? Uh, mm, okay, well I'll have to think about come back and think about that can you guys see am I in frame hopefully hopefully I'm in frame um, or I don't know I don't know where this came from I don't know what that is that must have come from my I think that came from my um, phone holder okay so then there's this what do I want Ooh, that flower would be really pretty there. I think I am going to 
fussy cut this. Now, I am not that great at fussy cutting. Look at I already ripped that. So you'll have to forgive me if I take a little bit longer. If you get bored, I understand, and I'm sorry. Um, but really, you know, this whole the whole purpose of this thing is to um, craft and chat. Uh, I watched a lot of craft and chat videos from you know my favorites. I've got. Ruby and Pearl, I've got, um, well, she, she, she doesn't, well, yeah, I guess she does do some crafting chats, but, but it's not, it's a different style, kind of like, well, like, in comparison to, like, let's say, Leslie from Willow House, 507 Willow House Journals, she's, does, um, she does the crafting chats, like, she'll really just, just work on stuff and then just chat away and that's I really admire that um, Rachel from Roxy Creations she's the same way she can craft and um, just talk and I am learning I am NOT much of a conversationalist although it you know it's hard to believe right now because I can I'm chatting with you right now, but it is true. I am, especially if you see me in person, I don't know how to start conversations very well, if you can believe that. I think I like this over here. This is too, it washes out, right? What do you think? I think maybe right there would be better. Yep. I think, am I in frame? Now I understand why people keep saying, you know, when you see our videos, you're, you don't know, especially since I've knocked it, knocked it over. Sorry for the, the bounciness here. Um, but anyway, I am going to glue this down and I use like to use this glue stick if you've been on my channel my saw my previous videos you'll know that I love this glue stick and the downside is is that yes um, it doesn't it's because it's soft uh, you end up using more than your other typical glue sticks but it works so well it works really well and it just smells just wonderful it smells amazing it also comes in a little tin which um, I haven't used very often uh, I'll show you it comes in a tin like this And it comes like that and it looks dry right now but it really isn't you just do that and then it it's like a paste but it just works so it works so good but this way is a little bit messy and the only way, time I use it is if I run out of the stick so anyway which have one more stick left so I need to plan ahead I ordered these on Amazon it does take a little bit longer to get get here get to um, the US if you are from the US um, it does take a little bit longer okay what am I gonna put here now mm -hmm. so what are your plans this weekend? Is anyone crafting? Anyone going to do anything fun? Um, oh, that's pretty. Oh, oh, I like this bottom here. But um, I don't want to 
do the same piece as this. So let me see. That was a different dress. Um, yeah, this weekend coming up. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. All over the place. Um, my husband and I went to go see that movie. Um, um, what's his name? Flick. John. No. Wick. John Wick. No. Is it John Wick? Oh, my God. My brain is dead, you guys. It is so dead right now. I am so sorry. <laughs> and it's, anyway, it's a three hour movie. We watched it in the theater. And by like the second, the two hour mark, at the two hour mark, I was like fidgeting. I could not sit still. I could not sit still and I kept moving. And, and the theater that we have has those special, supposedly those nice chairs that are, um, uh, what do you call it? You know, they recline and they heat up and everything. They, they're really, they're really nice, um, for maybe an hour. <laughs> and then I get fidgety in them and I can't, um, I'm going to make this into a pocket. Um, yeah, I can't sit still. I can't sit still. And thank goodness there was nobody sitting in the next seat next to me because they would probably end up wanting to move because, you know, there's this crazy Asian, Asian lady that just won't stop moving in her seat. <laughs> it's <was> being annoying. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I, it was a good movie. Um, I don't know why I can't think of the name of it. It's with Keanu Reeves. It's, I want to say it's John Wick, but for some reason, I don't think John was the first name, but this, the fourth one, and I've seen all, all the series the sequels and excuse me I just want to take a drip sip of my tea um anyway there's I've seen all his sequels and oh look at that <laughs> if um I had a bigger head doll head wouldn't that look like a doll head Anyway, I won't do I won't do that. I will put like a flower or something like that there, a card, a flower card or something. Um, and I need to maybe put something up here, something like yeah, like that. No, any other. Um. Anyway, uh. You guys, I just get so distracted uh, with, with uh, I can't multitask apparently. I can't craft and talk, and I'm sorry about that. But I have to tell you, I am having fun. I'm definitely having fun, and um, I would love some comments if you um, would love to just participate in my conversation or just even just to answer or or say something about my comments and um, just so that I can know that you are listening to me and um, that I have some participation. But um, as it stands right now, I think I'm probably close to time and I don't want to bore you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it right here and this will probably be in this video, um, this journal, I'll probably end up doing it in 
four or five parts, I'm guessing, at the rate that I'm going. So, um, if you get bored, let me know. If you like the content or if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you joining me. I appreciate you keeping me company. And um, thank you so much for uh, being patient and watching this video. Bye, all.